Hi everyone, welcome back. Last week, I ran out of topic to share to you as a tutorial. Luckily, my colleague suggested one. Before we proceed, if you are new to my channel, then please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and also ring the bell. So, for today's topic, I'm going to share to you on how to use and create Facebook group. Shout out to Mom Root for suggesting this topic. Thanks to you, Mom Root. I highly appreciate it. So guys, if you have some suggestions or questions, don't be shy and comment it below and I'll be glad to know it. So let's start. Okay, first thing that you need to do is, okay, to create a Facebook group, of course, the first thing that we need to do is go to your Facebook app. Open your Facebook app, click the menu button, these three lines at the upper corner. Okay, so these are the options. Just click groups. Okay, now, now we are directed here. Okay, you have under groups, your groups, discover, create. To create a new Facebook group, you just have to click this plus sign, this plus sign, which has the create word. Okay, so now we can create our own group. Okay, you need to fill out this information like you have to name your group class A. Okay, so I'll name it class A. Now you have an option, you can put your cover photo, but this is only optional. You may or you may not put here. Then the privacy, you can select public or private. If your purpose is for businesses, then I highly suggest that you choose public the more people you have, the more opportunity, the more opportunity for you to sell. Now, in my case as teacher, we create classes. And um, as a teacher, I don't want other other people to join our group not inside or not under my section. So I'm gonna put private as my privacy. Click done. And then you can also choose to hide your group or to become visible. I want it to be visible to my um, to other people. Okay. So now click create group. Now, now that you are done creating the group, you have to invite people inside your group. Okay. So we need to invite people. Let's say for example, I'm gonna choose this. Click invite, click next, and um, take note you can add um, as many person as you can. It's up to you. I am not, actually I am not sure if there is a limit. So I think you, you have to explore it by your own okay click next add cover photo okay let's choose this click next add description describe your group so people know what it's all about section classes um, section class a section a next Create a post, okay? So you can also skip this one if you want. Click done. Confirm. And this is how your um, Facebook group looks like. You can add another member if you want. Okay, or you can, or you can share or you can invite um, the people inside a group for you to have um, easy 
invitation of other people. So you copy the link to a group in Messenger and then all you need to do is uh, send this to a group. But I don't have a group so I'm gonna uh, send this instead to a person. Now other people can visit your group using this link. You can also um, share in Messenger and more options we have here. You can um, share the link to your Facebook group using Teams, using Newsfeed, using your classroom. So it's up to you on what uh, method you will use. Okay, so next is that you also have options here. If you want to send files here, you can see it in this part. And also you can send the file here. You can attach files, whatever files you like to send. Let's try to send a PowerPoint, this one. So now it's done uploading. So the um, members of the group or Facebook group can uh, see the posts or attachments being sent inside the said group. So this is very nice because the students will be able to see what or the files are sent by the teacher so they can access that one. And also, um, they can also send the file that uh, the teacher requires them to do then you have invite friends add cover photo add description create a post next is we have it here you can edit the picture or the cover photo here just click this um, pencil icon and you can upload or view the, the photo next is this icon which looks like a shield with a star at the center there are options here you can click member request okay so here you can see who are the uh, people who requested to join the group you can accept or approve or decline their um, request so it's up to you what else we have another option here group quality okay so let's see so we want to help you to keep your group say group quality lets you know if post in your group go against facebook policies what we've done about them and what you can do so um, you can assure here that uh, the posts are within uh, the facebook policies okay next we have our admin admin and moderator activity Okay, so as the creator of the FB group, automatically I am the admin. But if you want to add another admin, you can also do that one. And I'm gonna show you later on how to add an admin. Quick admins. Okay, so here you can see that I or I am the current admin and I can. Okay, so the thing is right now i still don't have a member so i'm gonna show you another um, facebook group that i created before which also which already have um members okay so this is my uh previous group which is currently used this is ap and esp 10 section gh Okay, so as you can see here, below the title or name of our group, there is what we call private group which consists of 26 members. So you can, um, you will know here how many are your members. Okay, so these are the posts that I created. Okay, so let's go back. Let's click the shield icon and click admin and moderator activity. Click, click admins and moderator. Okay, so you can see there that um, I added my admins here. And there are now three admins. Okay, members, all group members, you can see it here. Activity type, we have all activity. 
and these are the um, it's like a update on what is happening on your uh, Facebook group let's go back and then choose members here you can see how many members and who are your members here and you can also uh, you can also assign one of your member as your as one of your admins okay so so that you can um, they can also so that they can help you in approving the request of other students to join your group because as a teacher you still don't know who are these students because your classes are not yet started okay so i only knew few of my students who were under me before so it includes this person and i'm gonna add okay i already um invited him to become a an admin but he is still not accepting my invitation so let's find another one okay let's say for example this one okay i'm gonna choose this person to be one of my um admin okay so these are the options just click the three dots so that you can um put her or him as a admin as an admin or a moderator so i'm gonna choose make admin i'm gonna send invite and that person should accept the invitation otherwise she will not be she or he will not become an admin okay so in our facebook group we can add we can post our updates we can also add files so i think the nice feature of facebook group is for for me as a teacher is to be able to um, upload files in the group and also um, the post will be uh, segregated and sorted according to time so that's it that's how you can use and create your facebook group and i hope that you enjoy and learn something for today so again if you have comments suggestions questions and anything feel free to comment it below and i will be glad to answer or share my thoughts to you Thank you for watching and please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and also ring the bell. Thank you!